Now, very few football players can claim to have played football at the highest level. And when I say that, I mean in the English Premier League, you can argue all you like about the quality of that league, whether you like it or not. But fact remains, it is the most watched league in the world. And one of our own here in South Africa, in Kakhizu Dukhachi, played there. He played for Fulham. He played for Crystal Palace. He played for Cardiff City. And he's got over 50 caps for the national team uh, for Bafana Bafana, about 54. So was part of that uh, 2010 uh, World Cup playing squad. In fact, you know, Shaba, Spear Shabalala was the star of that iconic goal in the opening game against Mexico. But the engineer behind that goal was Kakisho Dukhaji, and he'll be very quick to tell you that. KG, thank you so much for joining me. He's joining us. Uh, from Bloemfontein this morning. I wonder if Shaba bought you a beer or two to say thank you uh, following that that pass. <laughs> Good morning, Benji and the viewers. Um, he, he 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 always compliments me. Yeah. He, he is forever grateful that you know that that move happened. That is uh, smooth and. He, he managed to score a goal. But yeah, like I say, he always compliments me and we always have a chat um, about it. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's leave that uh, and talk about what you're doing now. In your life after football, you're doing some wonderful things, especially in your home province of the Free State. And you recently held uh, a sports tournament. Let me not say a football tournament because it encompassed more than just football. Tell us about that. And I understand it was in Tabanchu. Yes. Um, briefly about the foundation. We, we, we launched the foundation in the UK in 2013. And I've, I've worked with uh, a number of people on the foundation that uh, could do the administrative work of the foundation. Uh, I had uh, Sir Thornton, I had Haley. And uh, I have Pizzo Motswana, Seria Long, you know. Um, and then uh, on the 16th of June to the 18th of June, we held a, a sports tournament in Tabanchu, Mabana, uh, particularly uh, for, for the Anders. You know, uh, we had under-23 tournament for soccer, ladies' soccer and netball. Uh, the aim of the foundation was to, you know, select uh, as many as we could, um, mm. uh, prepare them uh, in a in a boot camp after then, and you know, expose them to 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 to, to other teams, you know, uh, because uh, I think that's what we particularly need yeah. in, in 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 our province or in in our country. We, we need to expose a lot of of, of youngsters because if we don't do that, um, their talents would go to waste. And, uh, I must say thanks to, to some of the corporates that I've worked with. Um, uh, we worked with the Standard Bank, um, Renault, Isadi. Uh, Isadi is, a, it's, it's a sports brand. Uh, uh, and yeah, I mean, the, the tournament went well. Yeah, uh, we selected a squad that was supposed to have played with a Lesotho national team, but uh, the dates have been changed. You know, um, but in, in essence, uh, I would say we we really need more of corporates to come join hand in hand. I mean, without them, our football is not going anywhere. I mean, if you look at the likes of Man City, uh, without money, Pep wouldn't do wonders. Yeah. Crystal Palace have improved. Um, there is Mukuru in there. They, they are they are doing well. You know, um, I thought uh, at first that uh, Safa are, are, are doing enough, but I, I come I came to realization that we need more corporates. Yeah, KG. In, we, we work, yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry to cut to cut in there. Um, our time is desperately short, and we need to to get yeah. through a, a few things. And uh, we'll we'll talk about uh, the support that you have, especially uh, financially. Do you find though? I'm interested in 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 knowing from you that you're not a netball person. We know you uh, uh, 
for football, for playing football. Did you find that there's a lot more interest in the netball side of things when you held that in Tabanchu because of the World Cup fever that's in the country at the moment? Do you find that there's, there's interest from um, young girls and boys for that matter? Yes, but I don't think it's, it's because of the World Cup. But since we are going to host the World Cup as a country, uh, I, th- I, I thought also uh, we should take advantage of that. You know, the hype is there. Uh, we need to hype it more. But uh, it, it, it shouldn't be a once-off thing. We, we shouldn't forget about it even after the World Cup. We need to to, to do more. I mean, there's there's a lot of players, in, even in rural areas, good quality players. I know nothing about netball. You're right. However, I saw the energy um, that they had possessed on the day. You know, and unfortunately, we couldn't accommodate everyone. But um, yeah, that's 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 one of the of the sports that yeah. I think we really need to pay much more attention into. Yeah. Do you, you mentioned a, a, a few uh, corporates that you're working with. What about the free state government, though? Are you at any point in conversation with MEC Mahasa uh, with regards to what you're doing in, in the free state and trying to uh, develop some, some sporting codes there, especially uh, football? Uh, yeah, um, sorry, I, I, I didn't mention uh, the Department of, of Sports and Recreation. They've also, they were also part of the tournament, and we, we're hoping to, to work more with them. And uh, like I said earlier, I think we also need to join hands in, uh, uh, together you know, and, and, and go to these people. I, I think they're more than ready to work with us. Her office has, has been uh, cooperative, um, uh, they 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 uh, executed their promises and they helped you know uh, with 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 uh, the finance you know to to make sure that the the tournament goes well. Mm. And we haven't really seen uh, an influx into the professional ranks of players, football players, since I think your generation. Uh, the likes of, of Lefatsu Tsudupa, of Lishon Olomajoro, mm. uh, those gents that came from the free state and a, a, a good and talented group of players. We haven't seen that. Are we a sleeping giant as, as the free state province? And I, I, I say we because I include myself as a, as a free state boy. Is, is it a sleeping giant? Is there a whole lot of talent that still needs to be unearthed today? Yeah, I'll, particularly in the free state. I mean, for instance, we, we don't even have a single professional team in the free state currently. And I believe we are uh, a, a talented province. Uh, you've mentioned the likes of Lefa, Tsutsulupa, Majoro. Uh, back then we had Aaron Lepel, David Mudise, mm. whom is also trying to, 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 to work in making sure that we did develop these young players. I mean, um, congratulations to David Mudise and Jimmy Agosti, the former Celtic owner. They took the, the young boys to, to Portugal, you know. Um, they, 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 they really trying, you know. Um, but mainly we yeah. need these corporates. I'm not going to lie. We need without them, you know, I, I, I see, I go around and see a lot of, you know, of team owners from this, uh, uh, small leagues, your SABs, your ABC, financially they're struggling, but they really are trying to, to make sure that they support these young boys and, and give them a proper development. Yeah. All right. KG, we desperately need a longer conversation with you regarding these issues. We'll make it a studio interview uh, in the near future. KG Dikhachi talking to us about Definitely. development of sport, particularly in the Free State Province.